Hi, Larry Lane here. Just this year, my stepbrother and stepsister went to Quebec City. They were going to get on a cruise, which is a wonderful trip. They just sent me all kinds of photographs, and this is one of the photographs they sent to me. In Quebec City, I didn't, I don't know much about Quebec City, but there in Quebec City, there is this Umbrella Alley, and I thought this would be a cool thing for us to draw. So join me on this episode while we draw Umbrella Alley. So the first step is to draw really light with water soluble um, Tombow felt tip pens and um, I, they're called brush pens and I'm just giving an overall layout about where everything is and I'm mindful that once it is on the paper and if there's some lines I don't like no worries because it's water based and so when I start water coloring in a few steps down the away, then all these lines that I don't want will just kind of vanish. It was a little challenging to do the umbrellas kind of curving around the corner and to have these perspectives to work the way I wanted them to work. The photograph also was a little challenging because it kind of cropped off the bottom part of the scene. I couldn't see the street. And so I was looking at other photographs and just kind of piecing it together to see kind of what the street might look like in the same kind of vanishing point. I also found when I was drawing the umbrellas, it was easier actually to draw the umbrella when it was a larger scale than a smaller scale. When it is a smaller scale, it becomes just a blob of ink and a blob of paint. But I can be a lot more descriptive with the watercolors and also with the ink if the scale was bigger. And you'll see in a, in a little bit that I'll have a sketch of a practice watercoloring of the umbrellas which you know, I kind of like. And so I used that same technique on this, this final ed edition. And um, I did find that what this final has, the final edition has, is it's a little smaller scale than my practice run of, of umbrellas. So it's kind of squeezing it a bit, bit and it's easy to kind of get it a little overworked with the ink and the uh, brush pens and also with the, uh, the watercolor. So there is this magic line you don't want to cross because you can't go back when you start putting detail on your, on your drawing. And it was my, my point of view is that these umbrellas were going to be pretty much the focal point of the whole drawing. And so I wanted it to be expressive. I didn't want to be too exact and, and photorealistic but I did want to make it look kind of like uh, umbrellas hanging up there, obviously. And what I also found is drawing these umbrellas, they're not always just a dome with a stick and a curve like a candy cane down below. All, some of them are, but not all of them. Because they have been uh, strung up there and outside, probably in the wind or whatever, some of these umbrellas are kind of crumpled up and that added a little bit more interest, I thought, to where you didn't have the repetition of these domes all the way towards you or, or going towards the vanishing point. And so I tried to capture a little bit of that too. Also, I was intrigued about the umbrellas being used in this because it brings back memories uh, of my childhood. I, w I used to go to art festivals with my parents and um, I remember getting a painting about jazz. I love jazz. Jazz is my favorite, one of my favorite types of music. And this one here was a guy, actually I believe it was from memory, it was a guy playing a saxophone and he was kind of leaning back a little bit, jamming. And then there was this guy hunched over a piano 
upright and they were jamming along at the same time you could tell that they were just having a great time and instead of notes being drawn coming out of the instruments they were umbrellas and different colors and it you know, early on it just shows a little bit of a freedom of feeling of uh, how we can just kind of how we can just uh, be expressive what we want Hey, be sure to subscribe to this channel. I purposely made these orange because I wanted that to be kind of a uh, Easter egg because again, my uh, step brother and stepsister were out there in Quebec City and I wanted to make something special for them and that those two signified them in the midst of other lovely uh, and colorful umbrellas uh, surrounded by love as, as we do love them in our family. Hey, give me a thumbs up. I'm using blue to show a little bit of the depth in this photograph or in, in this uh, watercolor as well. Um, I'm putting that in the back cavern and I'm trying also on the far right. I want that to be kind of um, muted out a little bit. I didn't want that red to really dominate the whole painting on one of those umbrellas that are coming at you to be what one would want to focus their eye on more than the surrounding area. And I splayed out the walls and um, it's not splayed out in reality or even the photograph but I splayed it out on purpose in order to kind of give a fanfare of all of these this bouquet of, of umbrellas kind of flying up and and opening up towards you in, in the foreground of this painting another step is to use the uh, brush pens to give some shade and shadow and so I'm going to go over some parts of these umbrellas and because there is some shade and some of those to give it a little bit more three-dimensional character and I'm also going to put some of the Tombow uh, on the buildings to kind of give some depth and three-dimensional elements on that too I don't normally use just black for windows but I really like how it pops out the window without really screaming at you that it's the main attentionism. But um, it does show kind of what I actually see in the photograph is that they're kind of blacked out. Oftentimes I'll do a reflection of the sky onto the window, if it's blue or orange or whatever, that would be blue or orange on the glazing that's reflecting back, kind of like water. But um, in this case, I wanted to keep it somewhat simple and use black in order just to highlight that these are windows um, but it's somewhat of a minor figure in this overall composition i really kind of think it'd be fun to kind of stroll down this this brick paved path this alley and look up and see all these umbrellas just flying over you and i anticipate that at different times of the year they'll change out these umbrellas with different colors and uh, it reminds me of being in New York City and, and watching the Empire State Building change colors uh, due to whatever event is going on in the town or even the world at that time. It's time also now to put a little bit more fine details on the drawing. We've already now put the Tombow in there to put a little bit of shade and shadows. But now we need to put a little bit of texture with the pen. So I'm using a 0 0.1, 0 0.3, or 0 0.5 pen. It's a, it's a waterproof paint. And um, I'm using that in order to give a lot more character and some detail to certain things, particularly in the foreground. And then letting it kind of blend out what, when it kind of, and vignette out when it goes towards the back. I appreciate you guys. Uh, joining me here and I hope you're able to do a wash like this as well um, and 
I, I know my nose, my, my voice is a lot more nasally than normal. I have COVID right now, and so I can't go in the office, so I might as well be painting with you, right? So thanks a lot for joining me on this, and be sure to try out what you can do. And email to me uh, your, your versions of this. I'd love to see it. You can email it to urbansketchpad at gmail.com. I love it when I receive those uh, emails from you guys and your drawings. I love to. I love being able to talk back and forth. It's quite a joy for me. Have any comments? Leave it down below.